Hey guys, what's going on? Adam Snyder here with The Home and Entrepreneur. So have you ever wanted to make money by vlogging? Recording YouTube videos? If that's ever something you've been wanting to do, make sure you watch this video because I'm going to talk about the vlogging gear that I use, why I recommend it, and it comes from all different price points. You can see it written up here behind me, the cameras I'm going to talk about. So if you have any questions, you can comment in the comment section below or make sure you stay tuned to watch this whole video. So the first camera that I'm going to talk about is a GoPro. This is the GoPro Hero 3 Plus with the back touchscreen. Um, I use this pretty much for underwater shots, for action shots. I'll put this strap this on a bike, stick it in the car, uh, you know, mount it with the suction mount. Uh, that's pretty much all I use that for. For vlogging, you will hardly ever see me holding this GoPro in front of me because I will not vlog with it. But in the car you know it's it's a different story because I can mount it these other cameras it's hard to really mount in a moving vehicle or on the side or on the top or in the back so the GoPro you can probably get that for anywhere between a hundred to two hundred dollars used new uh, a little bit more than that so let's jump into camera number two this right here is the Sony a5000 um, this camera you can pick it up in some cases, you can pick this up new for $350. Um, you can pick it up on Amazon all the time. Used, you can get it anywhere from about $300 to $400. Um, it's a great camera. This is a mirrorless camera, so it's not a DSLR like I'm shooting on here. It's not a point and shoot like this Canon uh, PowerShot G7X. So, why do I like this camera? First, the reason I like this camera other than the flip up screen, is it has this dial right here. You can see it right here. Turn this, we'll zoom in and out, and it's very fast, okay? So, if I was to vlog with it, I can hold this out like this, okay? Very easy. Okay, I'm, this, I'm not gonna really talk about this camera, but I, I just wanna let you understand, let you guys know the Sony A5000 is a great camera to have. The A6000 is even better, but it doesn't have the flip up screen. If you want the flip up screen, get the A5000. That was exactly why I purchased this one, as well as it's very lightweight. The lens zoom in and out, which is key for a lot of the shots that I do. Again, you only see half the shots on this YouTube channel. The majority of the time I use this camera, it's not for this channel. So we're going to set this aside. The two cameras I want to talk about today. One I'm shooting on right now is the Canon 70D, which is the camera body itself. You're looking at about $800 to $900 uh, for the lens. The lens I have on it right now, this is a wide angle lens. It's a 10 to 18 millimeter. So it is literally uh, two feet from me right now. Let me prove that. Here's my hand. Here's my arm, not very long, okay? I'm actually touching the camera, okay? See it right there? I can literally sit, stand right in front of it, zoom in and out because it's that close. I love this camera for vlogging, walking around. It's a big, bulky camera. This is, a, this is the Canon 70D. It's a DSLR camera. So, and it also has a Rode mic on it, so I'm gonna show you that in a second. But let's talk about the Canon G7X that most people vlog with. Uh, I believe, you know, some of the, the bigger vloggers such as, um, you know, Roman Atwood, uh, you know, he, he uses the Canon G7X. This is the Canon G7X, this is the, the Mark I. Uh, the Mark II has a better grip over here and it also has a little bit better um, as far as, I believe, the autofocus. Um, and then the sound is just a tad better. But this is a great camera. It's about $100 to $150 less than the G7X Mark II. But like I was like I said, it, the Mark II has a little grip over here on this side. And I'll show you a picture of that. But it has a little grip over here. Makes it easy to hold if you're vlogging this way. If you are vlogging, chances are you have the screen flipped up, turned around. I am right-handed. 
because of that I grab it from the right side okay so if I grab it from the right side that is over here not over here where the grip is so this grip I can I do not care if the camera has that grip because I'm grabbing it from the back and from right here okay holding it like this let's see how it works okay so right now you're hearing the sound from my Canon 70D which the setup that I have right here is probably about $1,400. Now the sound that you're hearing right now is from the Canon G7X. Can you see the difference in quality from the picture? The quality in the picture is, it's not huge, um, especially when you're talking about a $500 camera or roughly a $500 camera to about a $1,200 setup right here. The difference should be night and day. It is not night and day. Okay, with that said, what camera would you use more? Would you use a big bulky camera like this one, the Canon 70D, or would you use something more like this, the Canon G7X? Sorry about looking at the screen all the time. It going back and forth just really confuses me, but over here I have the big lens. I'm looking at that. Now I'm looking over at the screen. Lens, screen, lens, screen. All right, guys, so like I said, let's talk about the Canon 70D. No, this is not the Canon 70D. Um, this is actually a Rode mic on top. Uh, you are not hearing any audio from this device right here. It's all from right here, my Canon G7X. The reason I like this camera. Now, I don't always use this lens. Like I said, this lens is, I don't know if you can see it right there. It's 18. It's the 18 to 50 or 18 or the 10 to 18 millimeter lens, wide angle lens, which is perfect because I can hold it right here and it will see everything. Okay, it's a wide angle lens. It's perfect for vlogging, for doing on the go stuff, but it's big and bulky. Look at this thing. Okay. Here's the, the Sony A5000. Here's the Canon 70D. Give you a better angle of that. Okay, big difference. The audio on this is going to be great. Not only does it have the Rode mic hooked up to it, if I didn't want to use a Rode mic, I could use a lapel mic, um, which would work just as good. Uh, but again, this thing, I can hold it right here vlog with it this is an awesome setup if you have the if you have it in your budget i'd recommend the canon 70d if you only have let's say 500 dollars to put into your camera gear your vlogging gear and you want to start small i'd recommend canon g7x if you only have a couple hundred dollars i would highly recommend this sony a5000 it works great it's not extremely um good at low light which right now your any camera that I'd show you right now is going to is going to look almost the same because I have a big studio light behind the camera. You can see it right there. Then I got a light up here. Okay, two lights. That's why you're going to see that the picture looks almost the same. In low light if I start shutting things off, the difference is going to be like night and day between the Sony A5000 and Canon G7X compared to this bad boy, the Canon 70D. Okay, and we are back to the Canon 70D. So, like I said, there's a wide range in prices, but there's also a wide range in features that these cameras have. Like I said, would I take this Canon 70D and go out into the water with it? No, I wouldn't. I'd grab my GoPro, I'd put on the waterproof housing, and I'd jump in the water. Would I take this Canon 70D out into the forest or on a hike? No, it's too bulky. I'd either take the Sony A5000 or probably take this, the Canon G7X. Like I said, this is the, the first version, it's not the Mark II. The Mark II is a little bit better, but for the additional features that you get, in my opinion, it's not worth the additional hundred to two hundred dollars that you pay for it. The one camera that I'd use if I was going, let's say, on a on a walk through a mall, um, you know, has great lighting, you know, from any direction. 
I'd probably take this, the Sony A5000, or if I was going walking on the beach, probably take the A5000, only because I can put on this lens hood. On the Canon G7X, I can't put a lens hood. As you saw on my uh, Canon 70D, I'm getting a little confused, but as you see or saw on my Canon 70D, it has a lens hood on it, which protects the lens and also blocks out any um, any glares from the sun. So I do like lens covers, but the Canon G7X does not have one because it's a retractable lens. It also has a light right there. I don't take very many pictures. If I did, the Canon G7X would be a great thing. It's also why it has uh, Wi-Fi on it. So you can connect this to a phone, you can take pictures, great quality pictures, by the way, with this device, send them directly to your iPhone, your Android phone, and upload them to Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, wherever you want to. Um, I believe this one also has Wi-Fi. Um, have no idea. Pretty sure this does. I'm pretty sure the Sony A5000, the Canon G7X, and the Canon 70D all have Wi-Fi capabilities. Um, then GoPro, obviously. Uh, you just connect it with the GoPro app. But, let's just talk about the cameras for a second. Which one is best if you are just starting out? If you're just starting out and you don't have much money, I'd recommend going with your smartphone. Because you can just get started to, you know, into shooting videos, start making a little bit of money from them. And it doesn't matter if you are going with the, you know, the, uh, you're going to monetize the video through the, the Google AdSense program over on YouTube, or if you're going to sell affiliate products or promote your own products or services, you can make money either way. Okay. And I talked about that in some of my other videos. So if you want to go check those out, go for it. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. But the phone is a great option because you probably already have it. You don't have to spend any extra money. If you're going to do a lot of water and action shots, get a GoPro. Don't spend the money on the Canon 70D because what if it breaks? You don't want to be, you, maybe you're not Casey Neistat and you can't afford you know, a new camera every single day. If that's the case, get something that you can protect that is small and that is made for what you're going to record. These you can pick, the Sony A5000, you can pick them up at Target, Walmart, Best Buy, uh, Amazon. Uh, usually you can find the best deal on all this stuff at Amazon.com. The power, the Canon G7, the PowerShot G7X, it's a great little camera with the flip up screen, which is awesome. One thing I would recommend is, you know, test out, you know, see what your, your filming capabilities are and if you really want to spend the $500 on that camera, I use a bunch of different uh, recording equipment. Um, like I said, I have a light sitting behind me. I have a light over here on the side as well. Uh, you know, multiple tripods, gorilla pods, a uh, bunch of extra batteries. So this is a business that you can get into and it does, it will cost more and more money as you want to upgrade. This Canon 70D, was one of my very first purchases in the YouTube business because I knew how how much better it was than any other camera out there. So that is why I invested in my YouTube career. Um, as I'm shooting this video, I'm right over 19,000 subscribers. When you watch it, I have no clue where I'm at. Okay, so this camera, I've been using this camera since I had, I think about, 6,000 subscribers, so this camera has been with me a a while. Um, so that is that is kind of my review. I know it's not a a great review. There's probably a lot better uh, videos out there talking about the actual specifics, all the different features of every single camera. But I didn't want this video to be like every other one. I wanted to show pretty much what I use the cameras for what I'd recommend them uh, being used for. I want to show different options depending on your budget. But overall, in my opinion, from what I do, I shoot a lot of stuff inside. I shoot a lot of videos just like this where I'm talking to the camera. The best camera, in my opinion, is 
this one, the Canon 70D. Like I said, if you're pushing about $1,000 for the body itself. The lens, you might be about another $100, $200. I think this lens, the 10 to 18 millimeter, cost me about $250 brand new for the lens. Um, and then the, the Rode, uh, the, the Rode mic, that one. And this is the, the, the Ro this is the Go, I believe. Not the Micro, not the Pro the go mic so it's a great option i think this one cost me about a hundred dollars new um you know if you want to make this a career you want to make youtube vlogging uh an actual business and live off of it you can just make sure you invest in yourself and buy the right equipment so guys any questions let me know in the comment section below if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel already make sure you click the button subscribe today and i'll see you guys on the next video